is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 21 chapter David the Brave Boy. Come on out, said Goliath the giant. Come on out and fight me. The Israelites were fighting with Palestines. Goliath was Palestine was the strongest Palestine soldier. King Saul and the Israel soldier were scared. I will fight with Goliath, said David. David was David brought food from to his brothers. Then they They were the soldiers and King Saul's army. army. David was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's army. You're a young boy. Goliath is a giant soldier, said King Saul. I protect my sheep from the lions and bears. God will be with me. So, like David, one day David came to bring the food for his brothers. And, like, he was mad at Goliath because Goliath was making fun of God's army. So, like, he said, like, I will fight with Goliath. So, like, King Saul was saying, No, you're a little boy. Like, and, like, a Palestine, the Goliath is the giant soldier. But David said, God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David, but it was too big and heavy to wear. David stood before Goliath. He had stones and slings. In his hand, Goliath was upset to see a young boy. David, stone and sling? Do you think I am a puppy? So King Saul agreed and gave the armor to David. But it was too heavy. Like, the armor... It's like this. Oh no, <laughs> sorry. The armor is like this much big. And Goliath is <laughs> a little boy. So, like, only. Yeah, so he took only a stick. And the sling and the stones and the sling. Oh, not stick. Sling and uh, stones. But it's for a young boy is going to fight with the Goliath, the giant. Like he was like about three meters. I come before you in the name of the Lord. You made fun of God's army, didn't you? I will let the world know that God is alive. God doesn't need a sword or a spear, said David. David put the stone in his sling. He let the stone fly. So, David said, you come, you're you coming with a sling. You have a spare sword or spare. But, like, I have the God. Yeah, God is alive. And <laughs> the 
stone had Goliath's forehead, and he fell to the ground. David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. So, Goliath, the stone had Goliath's forehead. forehead and like he fell to the ground like David won with God's help you are a very brave David King Saul said David was really brave everybody said David was brave, but David knew God helped him. So like everyone cheered for David, like they all like said like, wow, David has uh, saved us, but But David knew that God has helped him. Twenty two chapter Good Friends David and Jonathan King Saul was uh, King Saul saw David defeat the Palestine's army. King Saul didn't King Saul knew David loved God. King Saul knew David was brave. Jonathan and King Saul's son, Jonathan, loved God too. Prince Jonathan liked David with all his heart. Jonathan loved David as he loved himself. Jonathan promised David that he have be his best friend. Will be the best friend. So Jonathan also loved God and he promised to David that he will be his best friend. Jonathan had many nice things. Jonathan gave his best story. Like, if I have a best friend, I have a best friend, but, but uh, I sh yeah, actually, I will be like hard to give my best things. But Jonathan has gave his best sword to David. Jonathan also gave David his bow and arrows. Donovan gave David his nice jacket. This will let people know that you're my friend, said Donovan. Thank you for giving me your precious thanks. Thank you for being my best friend, said David. David became an horrible... Oh, so David... He won many battles. The Israelites sang for David. King Saul killed thousands, but David killed ten thousand. This made King Saul mad and jealous. King Saul tried to harm David, but Jonathan helped David run away from King Saul. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? So David became the king at last. Then see you next time. Bye.